Well, looky, looky here. We've got a wall of filament that looks great. Big thanks for watching that video, by the way. These are all assorted by color now as my daughter Riley got to it. That was nice of her. And if you look back here, I've actually installed more shelves. I have more filament shelves because I have tons more filament, but I still have more to go through. So this video serves two purposes. One, I'm gonna ask you a question about spare filament. And two, I'm gonna tell you how you can enter a design contest and win some wonderful prizes from Matter Hackers. And I'm gonna do that here on 3D Printing Nerd. As promised in the first part of this video, we're gonna talk about spare filament. Yes, this giant pile of filament right here. It's like seven wide and 20 deep and 40 tall. And it's just, it's a bunch of filament. It's half rolls, it's quarter rolls, it's samples, it's ABS. <laughs> it's a bunch of filaments I either won't get to or I don't need, and I need to find a great way to get these to people who could use them. And one of the things I'm gonna do is get some of this to my local maker space. Of course, the other uh, Clarissa, you know her as Make It and Fake It on YouTube. She worked at a lab last year and they can always use some spare filament. So some of this will go to Clarissa. But what do I do with the rest of this? I How do I get it to people who may need it? I'm sure there are people that aren't even local to me that could use some of this filament. How do I get it to them? I'm not looking to sell it. I, I mean, if you want to donate money to Seattle Children's Hospital, you know, in exchange for filament, that's great. But I need a good way to get this filament to the people who could use it and get it out of my house because it's taking up space on my bench and I can't do anything on my bench. So if you have great ideas, leave them down in the comments and we can chat about it and maybe this filament can see some new owners. Well, now that we got that out of the way, let's talk about the contest over here. So you remember these shelves? We talked about it literally at the beginning of this video, but I, I had an idea and here's where it sprung from. This is the Zortrax M200. The one I had for my review, it died a horrible death. The motor just kind of went, it didn't do anything. It just went nothing because it died. And I talked to Zortrax and they, they sent me this one and it works great, but there was a problem. They sent me this spool holder. It goes in the back. You know my troubles with spool holders. The problem is it's printed in this orientation, so when you try to slide it onto the metal of the machine, it breaks. I tried to glue it. Glue didn't hold it. It's a good design, but it's printed in the wrong orientation, so the strength isn't along the right lines, and it just breaks, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna print a new one. You're gonna print it this way, and it's got the little piece that slides onto the metal, and it's yellow in Z Ultrat, and it, well, it printed great. But I don't wanna to have to do that. I have this giant, giant wall of filament. Why not feed filaments from this wall into printers? Like, here's the Prusa Mark III. It takes filament from the top. The Zortrax M200, it takes filaments from the top. The Pulse XE for Matter Hackers, it takes filaments from the bottom. But that's okay, because there's a spool holder right here. So a filament could come down, wrap around, and go up into the Bowden tube through the Bontech. It would be great, it would be great. The problem is with this setup, this is storage, this isn't usage. And so filaments, they don't roll. So here is my question to you and the beginning of a design challenge. I am officially starting a design challenge for a spool holder that attaches anywhere along this shelf unit. Prizes will be provided by Matter Hackers and it's gonna be hosted over at my mini factory. The idea for this, this contest is actually quite simple. Here, let's illustrate. Here's a roll of high five blue. You know it is my filament from Protopasta. And what if I wanted to print this over on the Pulse XE right here? Well, I could load it on the spool holder right here, or you or someone you know and love could design a spool holder that fits on these shelves. So imagine it this way, what if what if I took this spool from here and there was something you designed somehow attached to this piece of wood right here and I rested the spool and I brought the filament down and it was able to print with it. And then what if the Zortrax material, it was on a spool holder right here. And then what if the material on the Prusa machine instead of being right here was hanging right here? I think this is a great idea. And I love this as a design challenge because this isn't complex. I believe that once I give you dimensions, you're going to be able to create something fairly easily. And you could use Tinkercad or the new Matter Control 2.0 beta. You could also use SolidWorks 
or Fusion 360. It's not required for you to use a complex CAD system and it's open to all ages and it's open to everyone in the world. <sighs> well, it looks like I owe you some dimensions and then let's talk about the prizes. Well, dimensions, let's bring the camera in closer. Dimensions may be a little tricky. So these boards are one by two in freedom units, but one by two is the actual board size. The nominal size, I believe it's the correct term, is three quarter inch by one and a half inches. American sizing for boards, yay. As far as the distance between this one and the one back there, and the sizes around this, what I'll do is I'll have uh, Sean put up the, the sketch from Fusion 360 that I made these brackets in, and uh, you'll see it, and it'll show distances, and you can pause the video to get an idea of the distances between things within this bracket and between these two pieces of lumber. These two pieces of lumber are the same size, and uh, the brackets are 16 inches on center. I don't know if there's really anything else you need to know. Uh, oh, you know what? When designing, it would be optimal if you didn't have to upset any of the spools in order to hang a spool, with the idea being the spool that I want to use isn't always going to be directly above the printer I want to use. The high five blue spool may have to hang right here in front of these spools. And so you wouldn't be able to take one of these out to hang the spool holder. That's just something to consider. I gotta put this back or else my daughter's gonna just kill me for upsetting the balance. Whew. Is the light really good here? Like, like is the, the light's legit, right? That's legit. That is L-E-G-I-T. That's legit. That is legit light. I'm looking and uh, I'm well lit. I mean, I need to paint, I need to paint that. You know what, before we go on, I should probably say the contest is gonna be open for a couple weeks and it's gonna be judged by me. It's my filament spools, it's my wall. You could be darn tootin', I'm gonna judge this contest. I may ask for some help from my friends at Matter Hackers or maybe Angus or Devin or other highly qualified people. But uh, after it runs, it'll shut down, we'll judge. I will print my top three. And of those three, third place will get a $25 Matter Hackers gift card. Second place will get a $75 Matter Hackers gift card. And first place will get a Matter Hackers Pro Series bundle featuring Nylon X, Rhino, Pro Series ABS, PLA. It's a giant list of filaments. It's a Pro Series bundle. It's pretty awesome. That's it. That's all there is to it. I really, really wanted to have a design competition and I wanted it to be super simple so that someone didn't have to use a highly featured CAD package to create this. I also wanted it to be available worldwide, which it is, and I wanted people to be able to use their imaginations within a constraint. So whether you're eight years old or you're 80 years old, I really look forward to what you're going to design and implement. And hopefully it's one of the three that I'm able to print out, showcase, and pick as a winner. Well, thanks for watching and don't forget to give me your idea for how to get that spare unused filament and filament ends and half rolls and quarter rolls to people who may want to use it. Good luck in the competition. There's a link down in the description that'll give you all the details that you need. A big, big thanks to Matter Hackers for sponsoring the prizes and a big thanks to my mini factory for hosting this. That's awfully kind of all of you. Beyond all that, don't forget to hug each other more. Good luck. I love you guys as always. Left-handed high five.